and the thing that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So we have the same relationship with Prophet Walker today. If a pastor don't, not living nothing and not teach you nothing, how can he pass the torch to somebody else? If he's a fornicator or if he's a gambler or a smoker or he's not standing by faith, how can he exhort someone else to take over in case God calls him home on the day? Amen. Therefore, endure a hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Now it's different between a soldier and a good soldier. Yeah. A good soldier is a strong soldier. He's yeah. not a coward. Oh, He's yeah. going to stand up and defend the word. He don't care about having 5,000 members in his church or uh, having someone to fellowship with. Fellowship with yourself. Fellowship with Jesus on the day. Oh, no Amen. man take the beast that war and take himself with the affairs of this life that it may please him, mm -hmm. God, who have chosen him to be a soldier. But verse 5 is where I'm going to go. And if a man also strive for mastery, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully or legally. So many times they say, well, you a legalist. Well, praise the Lord, give his charge. The Bible Amen. is a legal word of God on the day. If you right. run the red light and you go to court, the judge say, look, it's right here in the book. Mm -hmm. So when we teach you get fornication, when we teach a woman can't dress like a prostitute, when we teach you can't be a homosexual or lesbian, it's right in the book. The book is a word on the day. So we're going to throw the book at you. Mm -hmm. Just like the judge throw the book at you when you go to court. We're going to throw the book at you. Because this is the word of God, and right. it's too important. These are the last days, and yes. they want no one wants to be taught on the day. Amen. And that's why Elder Brendan brought it out. you got to be instructed mm -hmm. in the ways of righteousness. But everybody is grown. But it's going to be a whole bunch of grown people going to hell on the day. Oh, it's not about, don't ever get so big that you think that a prophet can't teach you the word of God. That's why Amen. God has a leader. And Bishop Walker is a prophet not just for true life, oh, but for yeah. everyone that wants thank to be God. saved. That's why I thank Amen. and praise God on this internet and line up what true life teaches with other church. See. You find a lot of so-called prophets and bishops, but are they teaching you the truth? Are they teaching what we teach? Amen. If not, leave them alone, turn that channel off, and Hallelujah. join in with the prophet of God. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord again, true life. Praise the Lord. Let's turn to the book of Titus. Mm -hmm. And again, we set the foundation yes. of holiness. The Bible says follow peace and holiness for all men without which no man should see the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for being a set apart special people. Yeah, we are yeah. special people. Yeah, right. I believe the book of Peter calls us peculiar yes. with the white veil, mm -hmm. with the white robes. Yes. No, we are not Islam. We are not Muslims. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I really don't see the fascination with the Islam or the Muslim movement, <laughs> praise God. They, yeah. they, they worship a black stone and yes. they suppress the women, yes. praise God. They, 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 they God is Allah, but our God right. is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And I believe Moses was born well before Muhammad. So again, the veil yeah. is Hebrew and always will be. And in the book of Titus, the first chapter, mm -hmm. right in verse six, if any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, yes. not given to wine, yes. no striker, right. no given to filthy lucre, right. but a love of hospitality, a love of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, yes. holy, fast, the faithful word as he has been taught. Mm -hmm. Our prophet was taught by his pastor, Elder Ross. Yes. Amen. Yes. Prophet continued to follow his his pastor as he followed the teachings of Paul. Yes. Now, the false prophet, he self will. They had a, a, a false prophet on TV and he said, I asked him, Well, how come you don't teach doctrine? Well, uh, I leave that to more qualified people. But well, then <laughs> you're not qualified to teach the word of God. <laughs> Amen. Because verse 9 says, Hold him fast. The faithful word is he has been taught. Yeah. So again, if you don't know the word of God, like the prophet says, sit down and let someone teach you Amen. what the word of God is trying to impart. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Let me thank the Lord for the scriptures that have come forth thus far. Amen. And truly thanking the Lord. Amen. Once again for being in the true house of faith like the elder brought out. Now I'm going to go to 2 Peter chapter 3. And Amen. I thank the Lord for the writings of uh, Apostle Peter. Praise Amen. the Lord. Yes. And 2 
Peter chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. It says, This second epistle, beloved, or speaking to the church, I will now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds, stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. He was saying, being mindful, like yes, Elder sir. just brought out that Ma Moses was born way before Muhammad, amen, amen. and that yes. the Hebrew, the veil covering, praise the Lord, is right, it, it's not of a Muslim or um, Arabic, praise the Lord, it's yes. of, of Islam, it's of um, the scriptures, praise the Lord, it's of right. Hebrew, amen, it's from Judaism, praise the Lord, yes. this was, we were, when yes, Christian sir. women were wearing veil coverings long before, amen, there was a um, Islam religion, praise yes. God, amen. or amen. women of God, women of God. Allah, but women of, of yes. God, of Jesus, amen, amen, as we learn that he is of the New Testament church, yes. amen, he said, I write this, and you know, the apostle Peter said, the second epistle, church, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, mm -hmm. and we're also, as we come before you through the internet, amen, by way of YouTube, yes. that we come to you with the word of God, that we stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance of what was brought to us through the Bible, amen, and as it was brought out that our prophet, praise the Lord, he is standing by the truth, he is preaching the true word of God as it has been taught him, amen, and I want to go over, I think it was brought out in 2 Timothy, but I want to go back over there, amen, in chapter 2 again. This is the Apostle Paul as he's writing um, his epistle to Timothy. Yes. It says, thou, thou therefore my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. And we're talking to someone that's out there that wants to come into true knowledge Amen. of who Jesus Christ really is. Yes. There are no three gods. There is no trinity. Jesus Thank Christ is the true and living Amen. God. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. Yes. The same commit thou to faithful men who faithful. shall be able to teach others also, like the elder brought forth. The minister said he's not qualified to teach certain things, then you weren't called by God, praise yes. the Lord. Because you have to teach what you've learned. You have to be committed to teach that to faithful men or to other uh, faithful to yes, saints who wants to be faithful, amen, amen. amen, so that it can go forth and then they can teach. Like Elder said, Bishop, our prophet was taught by his pastor, Elder Ross. Yes, pastor Ross, praise the Lord. And then Bishop took those teachings and now he's teaching us and we're taking these teachings that he's teaching us to bring forth to other people, but it's all Bible instruction, amen, amen that you may live and not die. Praise amen. the Lord, I want to turn over to Proverbs quickly, mm -hmm. amen. amen. And praise the Lord in Proverbs chapter 23. Praise the Lord. In verse 12 reads, Apply thine heart unto instruction and thine ears to the words of knowledge. So as the word of God goes forth, you have to apply it in your heart. Amen. There's a song that was teaching um, my son's. The, the other night, inside out, you must serve my Jesus from the inside out. Yeah, Amen. Right. So from mm -hmm. your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have put these instructions in your heart. Like David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Yes. Hide the word in the instructions that you're given. Receive them in your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then you can, um, as you hear them, praise the Lord, you can attend to or receive the words of knowledge as they come forth, praise the Lord, and then you can go forth and apply it into your life, your daily life, live mm -hmm. by it day by day. And as the scoffers come, um, it was over in Second Peter Amen. chapter um, 3, praise Amen. the Lord, I think it was verse 4, they say, and it's last day, scoffers will come. Yes. They're going to come and, oh, where is this, uh, what is? what about this veil covering you've got on, what is this <laughs> about uh, women preaching? Praise the Lord, you just continue to keep that word in your heart, keep Amen. the instructions in your heart, and live holy for Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Now, two things I really want to uh, bring out. One is speaking of like the presiding elder. Actually, he brought out both of these uh, uh, topics that I want to bring out. Like far as the, the beard, I mean, we, we've taken the vow of a Nazarite. Yes. yes. Now, you can look, you know, we don't, we don't agree with uh, all the so-called biblical pictures that they have all around. But even if, if you look at those pictures, even those men have beards on them. I mean, so I mean, it's 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 only scripture by why we care, why we wear the beards and the sisterhood wears the veils. Yes. And then my second thing is that, like, as soon as you read that word in uh, Titus, uh, verse six, mm -hmm. if any be blameless, the husband of one wife having faithful children, mm -hmm. not accused of riot or unruly. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. That really hit me, and I, I thought of the scripture in uh, Isaiah in yeah. chapter 2, verse 12. Mm -hmm. And it reads, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Mm -hmm. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. Yes. If you look at today, right now, mm -hmm. children today are listening more to the so-called 